Hello everybody, this is James from Outlaw Frags and welcome back. This is part two of favorite fall and winter frags from around the world because these reviewers you're about to see are from around the world. I want to say thank you for their participation. I couldn't have done this without them. They are some amazing people. They took their own time, effort, sweat, and ability to produce these clips for you guys. So I hope you enjoy them. At the end, come back because I have two more. You'll only find out what my two favorite ones have just popped up to be. So sit back, grab you a snack, and enjoy. What's up, James, man? Thank you so much for letting me be a part of this. I think it's so cool that somebody as nice as you would reach out. James is a really cool guy, man. James is that guy who makes every reviewer feel like there is a reason that they do it because James will definitely make you feel wanted. He'll make you feel important. He'll just make you feel like he actually cares. Not like you're a celebrity or something, but like that guy that you know you could call, have a beer with, watch a game, that kind of friend. So James asked me to talk about two fragrances I'll be wearing this fall season. I'm in my truck because I've been really, really busy. I haven't been able to put out a lot of videos. So I thought I'd go ahead and share them with you real quick. The first one we're gonna talk about is Creed's Royal Oud. I just received this fragrance. I really like it. Uh, my wife does not care for it, but I'm starting to let it grow more and more on me, and I think it'll grow more and more on her the colder it gets. I really like it, and I really care, like the, uh, the color scheme, black and gold, you know, just like my saints. And as far as black and gold goes, we got to go with another one, an underrated gem. A lot of people talk about Parfums de Marley, and when they do, they talk about Leighton and Carlisle and Percival and Godolphin and all of these other ones, Herod, but they're always overlooking the one that I love the most, I think it's the best from the line. It's the most unique. It's the most uh, original. I think it's great. That's Parfums de Marley Habden. Both of these will definitely work for you in the fall season. They're quite pricey, but I think this fall season and this winter season, I'm really starting to try to up my game when it comes to fragrances. I'm trying to explore more niche, and these two right here are perfect ones for that. So if you're looking for a fragrance for this fall season that will definitely work, these two will work. Thanks, James, again for letting me be a part of this and to the next person. So, hey, you doing, fragrance fans? My name's Scott and I'm the Luxury Fragrance Boss. Now, thank you, first of all, I want to say a big thank you to James Underwood from Outlaw Frags um, for allowing me to be part of this video. Um, so, moving on to my top two recommendations for full, uh, for full scents. Now, the first one I've gone for is the wonderful Imaginary Authors Memoirs of a Trespasser. This one is such a smooth, beautiful vanilla fragrance. Uh, the best way I can describe this one is if you tried Eau Sauvage, the Parfum version, um, imagine that and the, how smooth that is and how soft and sort of beautiful that is on the nose, and then it's got vanilla in, and that's what you've got with Memoirs of a Trespasser. I really do love this one. With the myrrh and the vanilla, it just makes such a smooth, um, sort of very, very sort of comforting uh, scent, which is just perfect for this time of year. Um, uh, like I say, this one, the longevity and the projection of this are very, very good as well. Longevity, I mean, you're going to get a, a lot of hours out of this one. I'm talking sort of 12 hours plus. I mean, that's what I that's what I experienced with this one. When it comes to projection, this one's got pretty good projection as well. You're looking at around two to three feet, majority of the time that you're going to be wearing it. But it is a beautiful scent, and it's one that you will smell all the way throughout the day. Now, if you're really looking to kick it up a notch and go into beast mode, then my top recommendation for fall this year is going to be Penn Halligan's Halfetti. This one is just simply a stunning fragrance. I really love this one. You've got some, I mean, this one's a lot, quite a spicy fragrance. It's very Easternized. It's based on sort of Turkish trade routes um, between, uh, between Turkey and Britain. So you've got a lot of different spices in there. You've got some oud in there as well. But this one's perfect for the winter. Now, as I said, this one is beast mode. So if you're looking for something with massive projection, and I'm talking about like majority of the time, not just for the first couple of hours, massive projection, excellent longevity, this is the one to go for. Now, the longevity of this one, I mean, it just goes on forever. Even, I mean, I can wear this for a whole day, go through the evening, and then I can shower the next morning and I can still smell it on my skin then. So this one does go on forever. Um, like I say, the longevity is there. The projection is huge. So, I mean, those are my two for, those are my two favorites for fall. Um, I mean, I've got loads of others that I'd love to go through, but those are my two for right now. So uh, don't forget to follow me at Luxury Fragrance Boss. I'd love to hear your comments and I look forward to reading the comments as part of this video. Um, I'll see you very soon. Thank you very much for watching. What's up guys? My name is Jay Copeland. I come from the channel Stay Fresh Productions. On a hiatus at the moment, but I do want to thank 
James Underwood from Outlaw Frags for having me on his channel to share my top two fragrances for this upcoming autumn season. I'm thrilled to share with you guys really briefly two fragrances that I know I'll be reaching for quite a bit. The first one is something that's actually a bit surprising to me because when I first got this decant and smelled it, I didn't like it at all. A lot of people really seemed to love it and I tried it but I just didn't really dig it. This is Creed's Royal Oud. Once again, this is just a decant and the dent you're seeing in this juice is literally over the past like two weeks. I decided to revisit it and I don't know what changed in me. I do find that my tastes have been changing and they have definitely shifted in favor of this fragrance. Man, this stuff, it is royal. What I get quite a bit out of this fragrance, tons of cedar wood backed by some pink peppers, so quite a bit of spiciness. There's quite a bit of citrus up top with some bergamot and maybe some other citruses that I don't quite pick up. A little bit of sandalwood and musk in the base. I think there's even angelica in the heart. Man, such a nice scent. There is oud in it technically. It really, really stays in the background, which makes this an extremely wearable and pleasant and light oud to wear. Great performance on this, so elegant. I will be wearing this for upscale occasions. I really dig it. Hopefully I can get a bottle at some point in the near future. That is Creed's Royal Oud. And my second fragrance, this, this one is special to me. If you do watch my channel at all or have ever watched my channel, you'll know that last fall, fall of 2017, this actually topped my list my top 10 list. And this is a classic. Not much needs to be said about it. This is Dior Homme, the Francois de Machy original. Uh, what you get out of this if you've never smelled it, a little bit of aromatic nature up top with some lavender, tons of iris, so that waxy lipstick. If you haven't smelled that, I know it sounds terrible, but please give it a try on your skin. This one in particular is backed by quite a bit of leather and some creamy, ambery cacao. So you get this chocolatey nuance to it. Again, a little bit leathery. And when it dries, especially as that iris fades, I do like the iris, but after it fades, it gets so elegant, pretty sensual. Uh, I think this is pretty versatile in terms of occasions. It works pretty casually. I could put it on right now, go out for the day, I'd be fine. But it also works at night when you're dressed up for upscale occasions. I really enjoy this. I used to hate this one. It's funny how both of these fragrances are ones that I really didn't like at first, but I've grown to love them. So that is Dior Ohm at my second pick. James, thank you so much for having me. And on to the next one. Hey gang, it's Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. Thanks James for letting me take part in your collab video. So I wanted to let you know about two of my favorite fall and winter fragrances. The fragrances that I've chosen, the two, I consider more, more for winter versus fall, but definitely you can pull it off depending on where you live. We have more warmer fall days until after Halloween it starts getting cooler and cooler here in the San Francisco Bay Area, but some places are really cool. So the two fragrances I'm going with, the first one is from the niche house of Frederick Mall, and this is Portrait of a Lady. Now guys, don't let this name scare you. Nothing ladylike about this fragrance, but it is about rose, but this is a spicy, smoky, slightly fruity rose. So you've got the best of rose, a very, very masculine rose here. And you also have patchouli with it. The two work magically together. And then you also have incense thrown in. And then two spices, cinnamon and clove. And also you've got a little bit of a fruity raspberry to make for one amazing masterpiece of a fragrance. A great, great release from this house. And I absolutely love wearing it. The trail that this fragrance leaves is absolutely amazing. People will chase you down and ask you what you are wearing. And this is a fine, fine fragrance. Compliments all over the place with this one because once people smell it, they just react really amazingly to it. So this is an awesome, awesome fragrance to wear fall or winter. Portrait of a Lady by Frederick Mall. Now the second fragrance I'm choosing is called Dior Homme Parfum from the house of Dior. Now this is Dior Homme 
the one that you love, more amplified, more intensified, more deeper, more richer, just the way I like it. This is a fragrance I was looking for when I had Diorum Intense. This is what they have given us, and I find this one to be a masterpiece as well. Now, I find this to be really, really intense, so also perfect for winter, but again, if you're in a cooler area for fall, definitely wear it. What I like about this is the fact that it's really, really sexy. You've got the iris, beautiful, it's powdery, a bit lipsticky. You have leather, you also have ambrette, and you have some rose. But the wonderful, wonderful com combo of the notes just makes for an amazing fragrance. Sad thing is there's a rumor that this might be discontinued. It's not anywhere to be found in the States, even at the discounters. I do see it in Europe, though. In France, it's available. So maybe it's just an availability thing. I don't know. But if you can find a bottle and you've been looking for one, do snatch it up right away. There's the, always the chance that it's going to be discontinued. But I have this one here, and it's absolutely a phenomenal release, perfect for winter. So there you have it, the two fragrances that I'm selecting, Portrait of a Lady, this one, and then, of course, Dior en Parfum, two fine, fine fragrances, perfect for fall and winter. Thank you for watching. A humongous thank you to James for having me be a part of this. Salutations, hi, my name is Kristen, and I run the channel Beauty Meow. And I've come here to share with you two amazing fall fragrances that I absolutely love and I've been wearing a ton of. The first one I want to talk about is a fragrance that I had actually not tried. I hadn't tried this house. I blind bought this and I instantly fell in love with it. And it's from Miller Harris and it's Lear de Rain. And this is a beautiful warm scent. It's a little bit dusty. It's warm, resinous, sweet. But the sweetness isn't something that's like a candy. It's kind of like a slightly dusty, smoky sweetness. This is a fantastic daytime autumn scent and it's been an absolute joy to wear. I love it and have been obsessed with the scent since I got it. It's warm, inviting, and cozy, and at the same time, I think it's a little bit sexy too. So this is a great fall, winter scent. And the next one is one that I've just been completely obsessed with since I got it, and it's Gallagher Fragrances, and it's Rosé All Day. This is a gorgeous scent that has apple, plum, rose, brown sugar, and it's got a vanity note in there of stainless steel which i think is a really interesting note it kind of adds like a slight cool metallic note in the background that i really really like there's also tonka in this as well this smells slightly boozy warm and sweet and you definitely get an apple kind of dessert vibe to it but what i love most about this is the plum that dark fruit note really helps play against all the other notes and turns this into a really sexy and warm scent that you can wear in the cooler months. Overall, this is probably one of my new favorite scents ever and I've been loving it. So this definitely had to be a part of this list. Anyway, those are my two picks for fall winter scents. And again, a humongous thank you to James and on to the next reviewer. Well, hello everyone. I'm Josh from the Smells Like Fragrance channel. Thank you, James, so much for having me on this collab. And let's jump right into my fall pick uh, from the House of Dior. This is the original Dior Homme, the EDT, uh, that really started it all. This legendary line that brought us uh, really hits like Dior Homme Intense, uh, the much sought Dior Homme Parfum. This was the original, and this one still stands up today as my favorite from the Dior own line. Uh, it is the most versatile. It really has a masculine vibe while also being unique. There are notes in this like iris, uh, cacao, which are you know not decidedly masculine notes, but they are mixed with things like leather, patchouli, vetiver, lavender. There's a really nice bright bergamot in this. Um, and all of those come together to create a really unique masculine uh, that's easy to wear and gets a ton of compliments. This thing really shines uh, in the beginning of fall where you, the days finally start to turn cool, uh, but maybe on the warm side, uh, this really is versatile and that you could wear this in a little bit of heat, but it's gonna stand up in a little bit of cold too. Really is a great uh, transitional fragrance in that way, perfect for fall. Uh, and for the winter time, uh, this is from Gucci and this is Gucci Guilty Absolute. 
Uh, this has been a little bit of a, a polarizing release. It is, uh, in my opinion, a daring release and a refreshing release from the designer world, especially the Gucci Guilty line, which is just so run-of-the-mill, uh, bland, generic uh, in the past. This is nothing of the sort. It is so intense. It's got leather, uh, cypress. There's three different kinds of patchouli used in this. There's this really rough and tumble vetiver. And this is just a really untamed, rough leather, uh, you know, with just some really masculine and, and kind of a wild notes going on. Uh, you know, there is nothing refined about this. Uh, there is nothing run of the mill. This is the kind of fragrance that if you're not careful, it could wear you, if you know what I mean. I think it takes uh, a certain kind of style maybe uh, to pull this one off, certain, a certain confidence. Uh, but wow, in the cold weather, this thing is just gorgeous in my opinion. Uh, so that's it for me. Thanks so much. Hey everybody, this has been from the Centitar Fragrance Channel. I want to thank Outlaw Frags for having me in this collaboration. These are always very fun and very enjoyable for me. So let's get into it. A Fall and Winter Fragrances. Um, I have here two of them that I love and I, and I certainly enjoy. I enjoy my Mooglers, but I, these are particularly special. I have Bulgari's Man in Black. Guys, you probably heard it before that this is a higher quality or a better, a more well put together a spice bomb. I certainly do think that's the case. This fragrance is bold, spicy, and aromatic. But underneath it all, it has kind of a, um, a kind of slightly herbal and a little bit of rose, which makes this fragrance really charming in the dry down. I really love the dry down, and it really is kind of a romantic scent through and through. So, uh, Bagari's Man in Black. Very good for uh, special occasions, for uh, kind of holiday get-togethers. I really recommend this one. Now, guys, I know this fragrance is a little bit more exclusive. I only wear these at the most special of occasions. This is Tom Ford's uh, Man Extreme, or Poor Ohm Extreme. So, guys, what does this fragrance smell like? Oh, man. It smells uh, like a beautiful, refined Dior Fahrenheit. It has the invigorating petrol smell, but it's just refined. It's a little bit softer. It has some interesting earthiness with notes like truffle. Guys, this is a, exo a special, kind of exotic in a way. Um, you're going to really stand out. Nothing really else smells like this particularly. So that's a Tom Ford Extreme. Guys, thank you for, thank you for watching these videos, and I'd invite you to my channel. Now to the rest of the video. Thank you at Wolf Rags. Bye. Hey Fragrance family. My name is David. I live in Puerto Rico. I am thrilled to be part of this project. Thank you James for the invitation. And what I'd like to do is share some of the fragrances that I will be mostly using this fall. Living in Puerto Rico it gets pretty hot, pretty humid. So here are some of the selections that I've made of the fragrance collection that I have. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoy. Okay, guys, so these are my top fragrances that I will be mostly wearing uh, this summer because summer here is really <laughs> nothing different from any other season of the year. It's very tropical, very humid. I usually go for something light during the day and then progress to something a bit heavier on the evenings. So that's why I have uh, on your left some of the fragrances that I will be wearing during the day. I really enjoy Eau de Merveille from Hermes. It's a very sparkling citrusy fragrance. It's marketed towards women, but I find it to be very unisex and particularly masculine because of the ambergris. It's a very nice scent. And of course we have from Christian Dior, Bois d'Argent. It's one of my favorite iris fragrances and it's a beautiful composition of iris. It has like a powdery vibe honey or honeysuckle so I really do enjoy this one plenty during the day so this will be my top choice uh, I also have a special or honorable mention which is Hermes Un Jardin Sur le, sur le Toit it's one that I truly enjoy as well I just recently acquired this it's, uh, it was a sample uh, I'm going to open this real quick 
so I can show you the bottle and I've, I've been through a lot of this juice recently because it's very light and airy and I am really enjoying this quite a lot so Un Jardin Sous Le Toit by Hermès there you go all right so moving on as the day progresses and of course the evening arrives I might be either going for Ombre Nuit which is uh, one of my favorite rose based fragrances and Christian Dior does fantastic with rose this is the second in line to Gris Dior and if I want to wear something for maybe a date or something not as heavy as Ombre Nuit something that it's is not as complex I might lean over to La Nuit de l'Homme I also have a few honorable mentions for the night depending on how I'm feeling and how I want to be I also enjoy wearing this one here Replica Jazz Club it's a very nice tobacco scent with tobacco and vanilla and it's I kind of hesitate wearing this one because it gets cloying at times uh, the heat in Puerto Rico is not really, does not really favor this scent. But yeah, uh, it's a very fantastic designer and I truly recommend it. And then we have Armani Code Profumo. Let's see if I can actually show you there. So Armani Code Profumo by George Armani. It's a fantastic tonka bean uh armani coat <laughs> and it's really good it's very sexy it has like a chocolate cocoa vibe so it's one that i really go for when i'm heading off to dates and when i impress people it lasts very long on my skin so i might do a review of this one pretty soon so that's been the journey thank you guys for joining me i hope you have a fantastic fall season thank you james again for letting me be part of this project and i hope that you can come visit puerto rico 